Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Madison and this is Christian and today we're very excited because we're getting into the Book of Boba Fett episode six. Now the last episode was so cool. You know, we had a ton of Easter eggs throughout the whole episode to other Star Wars movies and TV shows. So we definitely enjoyed that episode, but we're curious as to how this next episode is gonna be structured considering Din Djarin in the last episode said, he wanted to go see baby Grogu before he helped Boba. So we don't know if that's gonna happen off camera or if throughout this episode, we're gonna jump from Mando and Boba's point of view. But either way, we're just excited to get into it for you guys. Now we know last episode was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. We thought she did a phenomenal job with last episode as she's done with other episodes in the past. I think she just has a good sense of everything Star Wars. So maybe in the future, they'll give her her own show to run or maybe a movie to direct. I think that would be amazing. Now this episode in particular we know is directed by Dave Filoni, the man himself. And last time he directed an episode was the Mandalorian one where we got a live action Ahsoka for the first time. So I'm hoping maybe we'll get a cameo to like a Rebels character because they've name dropped Thrawn before or maybe something from the Clone Wars. I think that would be really cool. But you know, whatever happens, we're just excited to get into the episode. I've seen a lot of hype online for it already. So thank you guys for joining us. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. You know where you are, gentlemen. Oh, oh. Cobb Vance. Is the most Pelgo territories. And these stripes indicate I'm the marshal of said territories. Mm. Now, I don't know what arrangements you have. <laughs> the way they're just standing there. I know, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Mm -mm. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Oh. Yep. Boom. Nice. Think it through. <laughs> Think it through, dog. <laughs> uh, so you right, like, you right. He's like, okay. I say this with respect. If anyone gets lost running spies through Mos Pilgo again, we'll be lost forever. Ooh. That is a threat. It's worth more than my time. Well, then maybe I'll retire. Hmm. They're not gonna like that. Damn, so he took their spice? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. He took it back. Good for oh, him. Oh, shit. Oh, so cool. That looks Mando, so cool. yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> is this where Luke is? That's what I'm about. With Grogu? To, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh my god. R2-D2. Oh my what? gosh. This is where they are. Dang, Luke's going to be like, where'd you get though? That ship looks dope. Of course you did. He's precious. He's like, don't worry, we took great care of him. Oh, I was like, what is that? Whoa, he's got him everywhere. That's so creepy, but cool also. They're building a temple or something? Yeah, but they're like ants, like yeah. building a, a mound. That's pretty cool. Is this where they are? He's like, no, I just wanted to show you this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? He turned off? Hey, I'm looking for Skywalker. He's like... Are they making something right now? Yeah. Oh, they're telling him to wait. Waiting. <laughs> Is anyone here? They made him like an area to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. They're under the tree. Oh. The baby. There he is. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh my God, he looks so good. It looks better <laughs> than oh, it yeah. did in, in the Mandalorian episode eight. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, is he gonna try to eat it? No. He's one with the force. Oh my god, that looks exactly like young Luke. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, he opened one eye. Oh, ah, he what? got him! <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, no. he's... He's not... I mean, he's super one with the force, but he's like, I'm still gonna eat the frog. <laughs> I don't think Luke's gonna let him. Oh, look at him. <laughs> My God, he's so precious. It's like, what the hell, man? Are you going to feed me then? <laughs> Wow, it looks it's so, so much good. better. Like, it looks way better. It's like I'm it's completely shook. different. He looks just like him. He is gonna let him eat it. What? What? He took a bunch of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grogu's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> His face. He's like, dude, you're the coolest person I've ever met. <laughs> Besides my dad. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a walk. <laughs> His little legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. I want to tell you about someone you remind me of a great deal. Oh, Yoda? Oh, he keeps force pulling him. <laughs> This is crazy. Whoa. We're gonna get some answers. I wanna know how much he remembers. <gasps> oh. Let me help you remember. Are we gonna get to see it? Uh, yeah. I think so. <gasps> oh, what? He was there. I mean, we knew he was from Coruscant, but I didn't know he was... He watched it happen. Dude, this is crazy. Who saved him? Did he see Anakin? Who saved him? Who saved him? No, show us! <laughs> Damn it! Mando's like, all right, I'm taking a nap. Oh. Oh, what? Ahsoka's here? I didn't expect to see you here. Neither did I. Wow. I'm an old friend of the family. Yeah, you are, girl. I'm here to see the kid. That's why R2 brought you to me instead. Oh, oh. he didn't even alert Luke, I guess. I know you do. Let us take a walk. <sighs> this is gonna piss me off. They're gonna tell him that he can't see him. That was the whole point, right? He can't be attached to him. Don't control the wants of others. Then it's my choice to go and see him. Of course. If that is what you wish. Oh, she walked him over to them. <laughs> right. Oh, I want to see what the gift is. Why? So he will remember you. No. As a Mandalorian foundling, he should have this. It's his right. It's his armor. <laughs> He's making excuses. He just wants to see Grogu. <laughs> Perhaps he has a problem. <sighs> Maybe he's both. Yeah, why can't he be both? Grogu misses you a great deal. If he sees you, it'll distract it'll him. Things more difficult for yeah. Dang it, this is breaking my heart. I 
mean, either way, at least still give him the, at least let Ahsoka bring the armor. Because that'll mean a lot, you know? Dang, he's not gonna go see him. What about the little hatch in his ship? That's for Grogu. <laughs> But when she gives it to Grogu, isn't Grogu gonna say like, wait, he was here and he didn't see me? No. Maybe she can just say, lie and say he sent it or something. He sent it, yeah. Oh, oh he he's gonna him. see the ship. <laughs> Grogu's so precious. He has a backpack. <laughs> Remember, Yoda had a backpack too. We're gonna see some of his training. Oh my God, Luke, so handsome. Let's see you jump. Do a jump. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cutest jump. <laughs> Feel the force flow through you. Force jump. Do a flip. Ow! <laughs> I want to show you something. He's like, wait, my bag. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. I this must be the this. best part of recording the episode, is just running through this forest with Grogu in your backpack. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> mm, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm... He's doing it. Use the force, my dude. Oh my god. <laughs> His little leg. Oh. Oh, so cool. He's like, when do I get one? Yeah. <laughs> I love how he still makes baby noises. Dude, so cool. Oh my god, seeing the green lightsaber flashing in his, in his eyes? eyes. Yeah. <gasps> That's what Luke trained with. Yeah. It will test your reflexes. I can't believe we're seeing all this. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's a ball. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> He's like, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. He jumped and flipped. He did it. Oh my. Oh, he's a little flipper. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> oh my gosh, this whole episode's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> I like how he looks like a little puppet. <laughs> yeah. Has she given him the gift yet? No. No, she hasn't. Dang, so they've talked about... Wait. They've talked about Anakin. Hopefully. Oh. Oh. He, he got it. it. Dang, they must have <laughs> talked about Anakin though by now, right? I hope so. Oh. It's more like he's remembering what I'm actually teaching him. Oh, oh, like Cal Kestis. Yeah. Like Fallen Order. Sometimes I wonder if his heart is in it. So much like your father. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Will I see you again? Perhaps. May the forest be with you. Oh, so she hasn't been there this whole time. Hmm. Where's she going? She's like, I'm going off to my own show, baby. Okay, and we're back. Book of Boba. Okay. <laughs> the Pike Syndicate has been gathering soldiers the last few weeks. Mayor Moff Shays is on their payroll. And ha oh, look. He's, he's there. there. Yeah. The storm is about to break. Oh, he's in chains. Mm. Vacation, actually. Shut up. <laughs> Go back to your corner. <laughs> This is the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. Yes. He's so cool. We need foot soldiers. Mm. I might be able to help with that. Really? Who was he thinking of? I don't know. Oh, oh, the villagers he helped when he killed the Kray dragon? Maybe, yeah. Oh. They got the skull. <laughs> Oh my god. They're like, there's our boy, you gotta see Ig. And they don't like the Pike Syndicate either. Yeah. So, so they have a reason to, to work with him. Mm hmm for sure. Haven't seen you since you gave up your armor. How have you been? More careful. Where's the little More guy? careful. Yeah, right. <laughs> Back with his own folk. Everybody always asks about Grogu. I know. I guess we both lost something we were fond of. Aww. The piece is intact, Lando. We do got that dragon. My people don't want to fight no more. Oh, the inside of the dragon is in there? They're like in the ribcage. Oh, cool. I fought side by side with the citizens of Freetown. And they're brave people. And the Pike Syndicate has us outnumbered and we need your help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if they you come for you, next. yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. But I didn't think you were one to back down from bullies. See, that's what I like about you, Mando. That big smile of yours lets you get away with anything. Mm -hmm. That big smile. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> There's no easy way to ask for a favor. That's true. But I mean, you're stronger together, you know? Things are tough around here. But I'll see what I can do. And I don't think he, Cobb Vanth really understands how big the Pike Syndicate is. He only saw a few dudes with some spice in the desert. Well, he did tell them he's heard of them before. <clears throat> right, but I don't think he understands how strong they are either. If they want to, they'll come take all y'all out. It's not our problem, Marshal. No, but it might be. They hear what I'm gonna say. Oh, so he hasn't told anybody that he shot some of them. Yeah. <clears throat> That's kind of risky that he didn't tell them. Is that Cad Bane? Oh my god. No way. Give me a favor and tell these people to head inside for a spell. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Something wrong, Marshall? Shut up. <laughs> this rather air on the side of safety. I don't want to get too excited in case I know I'm I not trying to set myself up for disappointment. I here. know, I know. But it looks like oh him. My god. <laughs> it looks like him. <laughs> He's got the black the black jacket on. Uh, hold on. Okay, okay. We don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. What's going on, boss? Let me handle this deputy. Yeah, get in there, deputy. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Leaving you out here alone. Get inside. Oh my gosh. He knows him? How would he know Cad Bane? He's freaking out. <gasps> oh Holy my god. Shit. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. He's back for a fucking Finnick rematch. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I have chills. Talk. I want to hear him talk. Oh ah! my god. And who might you be? Cad Bane, motherfucker. Cad motherfucking Bane. 
Oh my god. Whatever Flint is paying you. What? You've got pretty ways to stay put and let things play out. The Pikes are paying him? Damn. Oh my god, he looks so fucking cool. It's Cad Bane, baby. Oh. <laughs> He looks beautiful. He looks perfect. He's like a perfect rendition. Yes. You tell your spice runners tattoo you for close for business. Mm. This planet's seen enough violence. You should have never given up your Oh no. Oh no. I think he's gonna kill the deputy. Look. He sees him. Bro, he sees you. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, what? No! Did he kill Vant? I don't think so. He looked like he got hit in the shoulder or something. Mm hmm Tatooine belongs to the center. As the spice keeps running, everyone will be left alone. Okay, well, Freetown's not gonna like that because that means they're not free. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, I can't believe that. I can't believe oh, we knew they would eventually, you know. Oh my god, look how beautiful she looks. They always go all out on her outfits and I love it. Why are they there? I know. Who are they meeting with? Because they had the money. Mm-hmm. And she looks nervous. You saw that when she saw them walk in, she got real nervous. They left the money. Maybe it's not money. Maybe it's a bomb or something. Look. Oh, you're right. They yeah. didn't take it. They just left it. Oh no! Oh no! Right. No! Oh no! Oh shit! That was a sign to Boba Fett. Is he gonna... He's gonna give it to him? No. Is he gonna make him choose? Hmm. It is baby chain mail! It's baby chain mail! <laughs> so cool. Look at his ears! But before you take it, I will hmm. give you a choice. <sighs> oh my god, what's in that box? No way! This? That's Yoda's lightsaber. The lightsaber! Oh my god! That's Yoda's? Yes! It belonged to my teacher. Oh my god! Oh. I'm offering it to you. He's gonna have to no. choose. Oh no. <laughs> Take you many years to master the ways of the Force. And you may never see the Mandalorian again. Because, Grogu, a short time for you is a lifetime for someone else. <laughs> but I thought... I thought Luke understood that it's not bad to have a Attachments. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna know what he chose. Shit, I knew it. <laughs> Dave Filoni. Damn it, Dave Filoni. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm kind of surprised by Luke, and I'm kind of not surprised at the same time. 
because I think you said a little bit in at the end of the episode is wouldn't he understand that like an attachment is not necessarily like a 100% bad thing because the attachment between him and his father between Darth Vader that's the reason he came back to the light side yeah. Anakin that's, that's the reason he was redeemed because of his relationship to his son so because of that I thought maybe he would be okay with him seeing Mando or having a relationship with him during his training but then at the same time I, I do see Luke trying to go through it the right way because he doesn't have anybody else to lean on he's kind of just going through the motions himself he's trying to bring back the jedi order by himself yeah you know so and do it the way he's Yoda trying to want it yeah trying to do it the right way so at the same time i'm not surprised that he gave grogu the ultimatum like this or that pick one i know but that kind of ultimatum is what led anakin to turn to the dark side you know in the end anyways like that kind of ultimatum and he should understand being yoda's student that yoda was not perfect you know a, a lot of the reasons things happen the way they did and the empire taking over is because of some of the mistakes that yoda made so i think you know understanding that to err is human you know or like you know anyone can make mistakes like maybe can speak on the way that the Jedi Order maybe wasn't the best way to go about things. You know what I mean? The way that they would teach things back in the day, maybe we should start changing it or try and change it so we don't get another Anakin or something like that, you know? I honestly don't know what I would do with this ultimatum. I kind of want to say Grogu's going to pick the, uh, the armor because I don't think uh, Kylo killed Grogu when he kill all the students at Luke's uh, school because that's what everyone has been scared of right like yeah. oh no we know that Kylo killed all the students and Grogu's a student so it makes sense that maybe he'd be the one to kill Grogu but now I'm thinking maybe Grogu wasn't even there and this would be a way to get him away from Luke so that he's not there when Kylo kills them all he would be with Mando mm. maybe yeah so I, I don't know will he even become a Jedi maybe he'll just go full into be a, being a Mandalorian or something. Now, about the flashback that we saw with Grogu, where he had the flashback to seeing um, when Order 66 happened on Coruscant, now we pretty much know for sure somebody saved him. Mm -hmm. But they purposely did not show us who. I'm, tr I'm trying to think of who it could even be. Obviously, I, I don't think it's obi-wan because obi-wan wasn't even there at that time we were thinking Yo yoda wasn't there mace windu we maybe. were thinking mace windu yeah because if he if fell he, out of the building he only lost his arm so if, if he survived there would have been enough time between anakin storing fealty to palpatine and then order 66 happening there would have been a little gap in time for, for him to go grab him for maybe him to like yeah tend to his wound and then think oh i need to go get grogu and then maybe went and saved him. Because we were thinking that only maybe like a few people knew about Grogu. But if it was Mace Windu, the clone troopers would have alerted Anakin yeah. and been like, yo, we just saw Mace, Mace Windu was here. You know, so maybe it wasn't him. I mean, he could have put on a Who cloak. Who could it have been? Maybe Jocasta knew the, the librarian? Oh, yeah. But it also it also goes to like, who else knew about Grogu? You know, we don't know everybody who actually knew who Grogu was or where he was. We don't know how well of a secret he was kept, so. I don't even know if he was a secret. Maybe he wasn't even a secret and everyone that he knew was just killed in front of him. Like there would be no one else to like, it's not a secret because everyone who knew was dead, you know? Oh, that's really sad. And he watched it happen. He was in that hallway. So now we know he was there on, on the day Order 66 happened, like the night it happened, so. Poor baby girl. We, we saw that he couldn't even go on a walk without Luke like force pulling him like, every other step. <laughs> that you know? was so, really cute too. So he didn't get out of there by himself. Somebody helped him, you know? Yeah, somebody helped him. Now the Cad Bane reveal was amazing. Oh I think you said in the, in the episode that like we kind of assumed they would at some point. Because it's like a Western, you and know? And not just that, but the last time we saw him, we, we saw him was yeah. in the Bad Batch. And he fought Fennec. And he fought Fennec and lost. Yeah, so we're so, going to need that rematch. <laughs> so we know that he's being paid by the Pikes. Which makes sense. But I wonder if partially maybe he took the job because he heard it was against Fennec. 
like, oh, Fennec will be there. Like, yeah, bet. I'll, yeah, bet I'll be there too. So, because I I think Cad Bane's the type of person to take that shit personally and be like, no, I'm the best. Fennec ain't shit. Because even he told her when they fought in Bad Batch, he was like, you're new. Like, you don't even know how things are done yet, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to say that the voice was, like, spot on. Oh, yeah. Um, the, I guess the prosthetics, the makeup and everything looked great. He looked exactly like, like he popped out of Clone Wars animated series. Yeah. Like, he looked perfect. And his teeth. Yeah, it was literally everything I wanted in a Cad Bane reveal. Oh, yeah. Um, now, him shooting Cobb Vanth, I feel like... He's not dead. No, I think he shot. I think you were right. He shot him in the shoulder. I think killed so. the deputy. He shot that dude like five times. Yeah, yeah he's killed, dead. <laughs> killed the deputy. Shot him in the shoulder as like a warning. And I think like, Cobb Vanth is either playing dead or yeah, they they both kind of know like oh that was a warning shot. Like next time I I will kill you. Mm -hmm. Oh no, well, and I think it's smart to not kill him because he knows the people follow him. Well, and he needs somebody to broker the deal because he just told him what the Pikes want. Like, well, hey. the deal was, don't get involved and none of you will get killed. That's yeah. pretty much what it was. Basically, like, keep our spice running through and we won't have a problem. But if you kill him, then you would have riled up the whole town. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I think he knew he he purposely didn't go for a kill shot. You know, he could have oh, yeah, if he wanted to. And we've seen Cad Bane. I mean, if he wants to, he can just shoot any part of your body instantly so yeah it was definitely a warning shot for sure now i'm really excited to see when fennec lays eyes on oh. cad bane it's gonna be like you son, son of, of a, a bitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I, gosh i didn't even think about that i can foresee um a showdown with them like another 1v1 a rematch in mm -hmm. episode 7 that will be just be amazing I, I hope that happens now boba fett's dent in his helmet there's a deleted scene from the clone wars that they did not finish where we see the fight between cad bane and boba fett and we see like where the dent comes from yeah i don't know if that's canon i don't know if that deleted scene is canon so oh. i don't know if cad bane and boba fett know each other personally but now he did say boba fett was a bounty hunter for the empire he's a cold-blooded killer yeah but i mean every, everybody knew that you know like boba fett yeah because he was he's the renowned big, he was the big talk of the town back yeah, when the empire so was around i don't know if he was just saying that because he knew who boba fett was or like he knew him personally nah i think he was just saying that to try and deter Cobb vance from working with him but we know he knows fennec personally <laughs> we do know that oh my gosh i can't wait for that now, now that we've seen Fennec and Cad Bane in the show, I feel like it is kind of opening the door for, for Omega. Omega. Oh my God, that's what I've been thinking too. Oh Ma my God. Maybe not this season, but no. if they do a season two of Boba Fett. That it, would give them enough time to finish up the Bad Batch. Exactly, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Ooh. It would come after season two of the Bad Batch. So. And then we'd get her live action. I think so. <gasps> I think that's what we're working towards. Brother-sister duo, the new brother-sister duo of the galaxy, Boba and Omega. Oh my God, I'm literally losing it right now. All right, guys, this was an incredible episode. I, I My mind is still blown right now and I'm gonna be thinking about it all day. So if you want to catch the last episode with us, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe because it definitely helps us out. And make sure you follow the Instagram for pictures of us and our dogs. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Juan, Enrico, Caleb, and Shay. You guys are the greatest along with all of our other supporters. Now we've mentioned before, our bonus movie reaction for February is up on the Patreon. It's Don't Look Up with Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. Make sure you go check it out because it was so much fun to watch. We had a blast watching it. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction, and vote on the next movie, we'll leave a link to the Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.